Power of the Duelist was released on August 16th, 2006. Notable cards in this set include Neospatian Aqua Dolphin, Destiny Hero Fearmonger, Destiny Hero Dasher, Chimera Tech Overdragon, and a card that would redefine fusion summoning, Future Fusion. In this series, both MBT and myself will be traversing the sands of Yu-Gi-Oh's history. Each episode will take a deep dive into Yu-Gi-Oh's past formats and unlock new strategies as new sets become available. Strap yourselves in because anything is possible Possible. Welcome to the history of Yu-Gi-Oh! So we're back in the shirt. Uh okay, okay, okay. Let's be real here for a second. I take a lot of accountability for my poor play in this series. Occasionally, my deck is terrible, it contains illegal cards, I play it incorrectly, and I miss lethal, but this loss, I'm blaming on you. You all wanted to see Dark World, I spun Dark World, and then we lost to a deck that was better than Dark World. Alright, we've all got it out of our system, let's get back on a win streak. Now, Alex was able to beat us last time because he had monsters in his deck with 2400 attack, the Monarchs, and we had monsters in our deck with 2300 attack, the Dark Worlds. This, however, contains no Monarchs whatsoever. Let's be real, Alex has been riding the coattails of Mobius to the Winter Circle for a couple of weeks now. It's time to disrupt that. So what we've got on the wheel today are some pretty excellent decks. We are still kind of in Chaos Return format. Return from the Different Dimension is still way too powerful to be left alone, but by this point in the format's development, everyone was main decking Royal Decree. And as a result, there's a lot of decks that are playable and include a copy of Royal Decree and maybe one or two traps, just so they have a good matchup against Chaos Return and can go over the top of the other decks. We've got Hydro Get On Aggro, Machine Good Stuff, uh, that is what I'm trying to roll, and I'm sure it's what Alex is trying to roll as well. Chaos Return, maybe we can show off the best deck in the format. Chaos Control, a version of Return that leans against stuff like Imp er, Royal Decree. Recruiter Chaos, Zombie Control, which I would love to show off. Deck Dev Control, I'll be honest with you, this is not a real deck. It attempts to use cards like Zombira the Dark to be fodder for a Deck Devastation Virus, which is currently at 2 and loses to Royal Decree. And Apprentice Return, pretty much the deck that Alex was playing a couple of weeks ago, but good. I'm looking to roll that Machine Good Stuff circle because I am so excited to show off one of my favorite cards of all time, Cyber Phoenix. But hey, let's quit talking, give it a couple of spins, and see what we end on. Hmm, does not look like we're going to start with machine good stuff. Chaos Control is a good deck, but I don't think it's doing anything cool or innovative or, uh, let's just be real here, sacky. I'd like something with a little more power behind it. Uh, again, missing machine good stuff. Okay. Zombie Control is funny. I don't know how good it is. Hmm. All right, I'm going to go exactly one more, and then whatever that lands on is what we're going to play. Uh, provided that it isn't exactly deck dev, we should be fine. Okay, I can get behind this. Ah, another win and another episode not having to adorn the Shirt of Shame. And this is our opportunity to go for the three-peat. This is one of the most spectacular episodes we could have because it's the last time we're going to be able to play Chaos Return. In the next episode, Chaos Sorcerer will be banned and you're not going to have the fodder for banishing to be able to just swarm the field with monsters and be able to OTK out of nowhere. So as you can see, we still have plenty of Return decks available to us. During this time, either your deck was playing a return from the different dimension style of strategy, or you were playing Royal Decree main deck to stop the return decks from doing so. And it's interesting how the pivot was in one direction and then very quickly to the other. Let's quickly go through the decks here. We have Chaos Return, Chaos Control, Recruiter Chaos. These are all essentially different flavors of chaos that are all going to be revolving around return from the different dimension, most likely in some form or another, just playing some different cards. Zombie Control is kind of cool. It does still play a bunch of good stuff, but it does
does take advantage of stuff such as Pyramid Turtle, Ryukoki, Spirit Reaper is also a zombie, so let's not forget that, and Creature Swap, as a matter of fact, because being able to destroy a Pyramid Turtle that you gave to your opponent allows you to summon a monster and take their best monster as well, at least ideally. Depth Dev Control, this is just a complete gimmick. This is a deck that revolves around the Dark World and Zombira the Dark because it meets the requirements for activating Deck Devastation Virus. If you can resolve it, you'll probably win the game because everything in this format is a weenie. However, it's not very reliable, and since most of these decks are also playing Royal Decree, if they're not playing Return from the Different Dimension, it's a bit hit or miss. Apprentice Return is interesting because it takes advantage of the Apprentice Old Vindictive Magician of Faith package, but it just plays it as a good stuff engine, and it can also facilitate Return from the Different Dimension. It's not playing Monarchs aside from Zaborg, but only because it's light, so it just synergizes with the deck. Hydro Get on Aggro, I really didn't know what else to call this. It's sort of this aggro deck that plays a lot of the good offensive base cards, like Hydro Get on this deck. I think even main decks rush recklessly. A lot of the cards in this format are small and Hydro Get on can eat them up. And so if there was an aggro deck in the format that wasn't playing Return from the Different Dimension, I would argue that this might be it. And finally, we just have the Machine Good Stuff deck. This is playing Cyber Dragon, Cyber Phoenix, Cyber Stein, Dekoichi. There's so many powerful machines in this format and the lone copy of Limiter Removal. I would really like to spin this deck. I think this would be a lot of fun, but let's go ahead and get spinning. We have three potential spins we can use here. And so hopefully we get something that we want. We have to get a return deck. Like that is priority number one. Uh, but I, I will take the machine good stuff deck as well. That is equally sacky. So here's the deck we're playing and wow, God, look at all those three ofs. I love old decks that look like this. They're just so consistent. This is Eric Bloom's top four deck from SJC Hamilton that occurred in August of 2006. And boy, it is beautiful to look at. We're trying to go under all of the decks that are playing Royal Decree in order to hedge against Return from the Different Dimension by natively playing a very low trap count, only four cards called Haunted Mirror Force Torrential and one Sakuretsu Armor. Now that leaves our life points very, very open to huge Saki plays, which I'm sure Simo is packing, which is why this deck is playing all these Recruiters. The Recruiters double as a fantastic way to get Spirit Reaper onto the field, as well as material into the graveyard for cards like Chaos Sorcerer. It's really the whole package, and should should you fail to find your primary win condition, you can always just tribute for a Zayborg. So let's go through the individual cards. We've got Breaker the Magical Warrior, three Chaos Sorcerer, and I believe this is the last time we are allowed to do that. Three Cyber Dragon, what a fantastic card. I can't believe people played two for so long. DD Warrior Lady, three Mystic Tomato, a Sangan, three Shining Angel. Been a while since we've seen this card. Its pool is not particularly exciting. In fact, in this deck, we can only summon other Shining Angels and... DD Warrior Lady, but still, it's good enough. Spirit Reaper at three, of course, way to slow down the game. Treeborn Frog, a fantastic uh, thing to tribute for our three Zayborg, which will be shown after our one Sukiyomi. For spells, we're playing one Book of Moon, one Confiscation, two Creature Swap, fantastic in a deck full of Recruiters, a Graceful Charity, a Heavy Storm, a Mystical Space Typhoon, double Nobleman of Crossout. We care very little if Flip Monsters get banished because we are not playing any of them. Premature Burial, Scapegoat, Smashing Ground, Snatch Deal, Call of the Haunted, Mirror Force, Sakuretsu Armor, and Torrential Tribute. Now, this side deck is faithful to the list that we found. We've got two Banisher of the Radiance. This is in here because, yes, it sucks that you're not going to be able to summon your Chaos Sorcerer, but it's way better to hamper opponents who absolutely need the Graveyard. Double Death Wombat for pretty obvious reasons. This is a card I hope we get a chance to show off. If Alex plays some aggro OTK nonsense like Stein, it's going to be so funny to Karibo him. Double Kaiku the Coast Destroyer, double Mobius the Frost Monarch, double Dust Tornado, one Hallowed Life Barrier, same deal. This card also operates differently based on if you're in the OCG or the TCG, so hopefully this doesn't come up, but we are going to have to look up rulings for it, and two Royal Decree. So, excited about this list. It seems super consistent, adaptable to whatever Alex's game plan is, and I hope that we're able to take it home. I'm so excited. I am so excited to play this. I am salivating at the opportunity because I see about four different ways that we can just absolutely end Joseph's life. And he is going to be so mad, so mad if we drop any of these bombs on him. It is going to be a blast. So this is actually a list that is a combination of a few of the top eight lists from SJC Hamilton and SJC Indianapolis, which took place around this time. I made a few modifications. There aren't as many 
many machines as there could be in here. I did decide to omit Cyber Phoenix because Cyber Phoenix is a cool card, but I feel like there are some cards that are better. Also, the fact that it's fire, I think really works against it in a chaos focused deck. I think maybe later on it might get a little bit better, but we also lose Cyberstein on the next list as well. And so we had to go in on that too. So let's quickly do the card by card. One breaker for generic back row removal, two copies of Chaos Sorcerer. We want to go overboard with this, but it does fuel return from the different dimension. It also out Spirit Reaper, so that's pretty good too. Three copies of Cyber Dragon. It's a machine. It's light. What more could you ask for? Two copies of Cyberstein. Oh my God. I cannot wait to resolve this. If we go into a Cyber Twin or a Blue Eyes Ultimate or a Cyber End, it is just going to make Joseph cry. I cannot wait. One DD Warrior Lady, three copies of Dekoichi. Fantastic card draw. And we are on the one Drillroid once again. This card fucked me over before, but it is very good against Spirit Reaper and a lot of other cards in this particular format. And it is a machine, so that's why we are playing it. Two Magician of Faith for generic spell recursion, one Sangen, triple Spirit Reaper. It's still a very strong card, so we're going to max out on it. One copy of Tsukiyomi and two copies of Zaborg. The best part about Zaborg is that it's actually a light monster, but also can just deal with a lot of the annoying threats we find ourselves faced with. For the spells, one Confiscation, double Enemy Controller, Graceful Charity, Heavy Storm, Last Will is actually a fantastic one because what we could do is let's say we have like a Spirit Reaper set, we can sack it for Zaborg, clear Joseph's field, then Last Will for Cyberstein, and that will be more than enough to win the game on turn two, and Joseph's going to absolutely hate if that happens, so we're going to make sure that we can pull that off. One MST, two copies of Nobleman, Premature Burial, Scapegoat, one Smashing Ground, Snatch Steel, and for the Traps, Call the Haunted, Dust Tornado, Mirror Force, Return from the Different Dimension, and Torrential Tribute. I feel like you could also play Royal Decree in this deck as well if you don't want to play the Return. You could go either way, and that's why we do have them in the side deck. The extra deck is a bunch of cards that we could potentially summon, but most likely it'll be either Blue Eyes, Cyber End, or Cyber Twin just to win the game immediately. And then for the side deck, we have a third copy of Cyberstein, because why the hell not? A copy of Mobius in case Joseph is on a back row heavy deck. Three copies of True Nade to clear the way if we want to go all in on the Cyberstein strategy. And three copies of Megamorph for the same reason. We can pump up any of our cards after using Stein, because Stein's going to drain our life points by 5,000, making anything we attack with absolutely colossal. Two copies of Smashing Ground. This is just nice for clearing a Spirit Reaper or just a big monster that we don't want to waste other types of removal on. Two more Dust Tornadoes, again, in case he's on any sort of back row deck. And then three copies of Royal Decree. Again, these could come in, and they may if we really want to go all in on the Cyberstein strategy. So I am super excited to give this a shot. And man, if we can resolve Cyberstein and win that way, I'll be happy. That's all I'm asking for, but we're obviously going to try to win as well. So ladies and gentlemen, let's not make you wait any longer. It's time to duel. Joseph, do you feel the power of the duelist in your veins? Do you feel like you can take on Maximilian Pegasus and all of the villains throughout the anime? No, I'm just kidding. This set's actually not really that good. <laughs> what the hell? I was two seconds from hulking out. Oh, God. I don't know why you're saying this set isn't good. It has such enduring staples as a... Uh... Neospatian Dark Panther or Who whatever it is. Who can forget Dark Panther? Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Ugh, it does God. actually have some very strong cards that don't see a lot of play until later, as a matter of fact. But it, it's weird that we've had so many sets in a row that have had such a small impact on the game's history. And oh, I probably shouldn't say what set's coming next. Otherwise, people may not even watch the next episode. <laughs> yeah, uh, obviously, a lot of you know this already if you've been keeping up with the progression series available on YouTube.com slash uh, But the GX sets are just a terrible wasteland of miserable pack filler and as a result we play chaos pretty much until we are no longer allowed to yeah the next ban list will actually finally take care of chaos sorcerers so uh return decks are not as easy to play as they are currently but uh we have to give them one last go around there was like five of them on the wheel this time so yeah. we it's chaos return format so hopefully we get to do some chaos and some returning so you're you ready buddy you gotta be doing it we got the dice cam we're good so All we're right. what what's the current dice cam record one and two the i dice believe cam is one and two yes okay so we got paper on the first one mm -hmm. uh that actually rolled off camera so no one's oh, gonna believe me that, oh, that was a six so i'll roll it again and you know oh! what yeah 
It was a six, but no one's going to believe me. So I purposely oh, re-rolled. Oh, oh. And if I lose, it's solely because of that and no other reason. So uh, go ahead, buddy. Never fails, buddy. Jeez, do I yeah, even want to okay. go first? Uh, Cyber Dragon is such a good card. I feel like if I go second. Yeah, I'm going to go second, actually. Really? Yeah, you're going to find That's out scary, why. That's scary, actually. I feel like, oh, Ooh, that, that, maybe that actually scares me a lot. Oh, God, this is a stinker. <laughs> we'll see. Good luck to you, sir. Good and you uh, too, let's see what we can make happen here. I don't actually know which of these is better. I kind of like this. Okay, I'm going to just do a nice, simple T set and pass. Go ahead. All right. Uh, all right. Let me uh, count here. And see if I can do lethal. Hmm. Right, really? Gonna... You're <laughs> no, playing this deck? Not. We're going to start playing with this deck? charity. <laughs> oh, okay. Now you'll be able to count for lethal. Here, I'll help you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. One, two, three, baby. Oh, this is yep. a weird one. All right. We're going to send chaos. You can't say it's a weird one when you have graceful charity. And mystic tomato. Okay. Uh, next, we're going to special a Sidra. Of course. Best card in the format. And you didn't bottomless me. Hmm. That makes Bottomless in the return format. That sounds like a fantastic idea. Yeah. What's that set card, Alex? You want to just tell me? Save a save us some uh, time. I'd prefer not to. I like to make you do mental gymnastics. So go ahead, start. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Uh, I'm gonna go to battle phase. We'll attack this set card. Magician of Faith. It is a Sangin. Don't like to see that. I'm gonna go dig in here. Question is, what do we want? There's a lot of really strong cards. I think I'm gonna opt to go for a Spirit Reaper. Oh, great, my favorite card. All right, uh, I'll go to main phase two. I'm gonna set one, set one, and you are good to go. You'll be happy to know, Joseph, that it's limited in the next video, so we won't be seeing it nearly as much. <laughs> Rip Spirit Reaper, Anything greatest stand card by? of all time. Standby phase is okay. All right, we actually made it that far. I'm shocked. All right, so we'll go to main one here. Let's fire off the Nobleman. Let's see what this is. That's the punish. Uh, it is Mystic Tomato. Okay, really nice to get rid of that. that. Now... What's the follow up here? I'm going to go ahead and set a monster and I'll pass it over to you. All right. Uh, I'll go to the battle phase and walk into your uh, spirit reaper. Hmm. Seems pretty okay. I'm going to mirror force here. Mirror force here. Hmm. All right. Uh, Sidra to the grave and I will set one. You are good to go. Okay. I'll draw. And it's not great. I'll flip up this to Koichi. Yep. Get yourself another draw here. That's not particularly good either. It's not bad. Uh, let's go ahead and sack off the Dekoichi for a Zaborg and pop the set. I am so sick of you and the goddamn monarchs. <laughs> All right, it was Shining Angel. <laughs> Ooh, okay, so Recruiter Chaos it is. Let's try to get for the 24. Yep. Uh, I will pass on that though. Joseph, you better get comfortable with Zaborg. This is probably gonna be a staple for the next like seven episodes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right, I'm gonna banish a light and a dark. Uh, we're gonna summon Chaos Emperor Dragon Envoy of the Sorcerer. Sure. And then I'll activate his effect to get that Zayborg out of my life. That's fine. You got gonna the return worse, from the different buddy. dimension now? I have the Spirit Reaper. <sighs> Pretty good. Okay, so I'm gonna take 300 here. Go ahead and rip a card. All right, um, by the grace of God, I picked the best one in your hand. That one's all right. It was a Cyber Dragon. It was pretty good. That was pretty good. All right, I'll pass back to you. All right, we'll draw. That's, uh, oh. Okay. Okay. I will banish a light and a dark of my own. God, this is like all my fears coming true. <laughs> wow, that's rough. I will bring out my own chaos sork with Pryo. I will banish the chaos sork that you have. Yep. Then, unfortunately, that spirit reaper is going to hang around for just a bit longer. I will set a monster and I will pass it over. That's a weird rip. Hmm. I'm regretting using that mirror force early. I had a plan for it, but it uh, just did not come to fruition. Not a lot I can do about this. Uh, go ahead, buddy. Okay, we'll draw. That is actually pretty good. Okay, let's go ahead and fire off this graceful charity that we got off the top. Yup, sounds good, buddy. Hey, you already got yours. I don't want to hear it. Yeah, but I didn't <laughs> use it very well. That doesn't matter. That's not my problem. All right, let's ditch... Wow, these are actually pretty good. Okay, I'm going to get rid of a Sidra. Got a couple monsters on the field, so I don't think that's going to be doing much at the moment. And let's get rid of Smashing Ground. Sure. Now, how do we want to do this? Oh, God, you can make another Chaos Sorcerer even? Jesus. I'm going to fire the Chaos Sork, banish the Reaper. Yep, that's fine. Okay. 
Now, what's your back row be? I'm gonna flip the Spirit Reaper. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, no Torrential. I feel like that'd be very good Torrential bait here. I'm gonna switch Chaos Sork to defense. Mm -hmm. Go to battle and hit for three. Ah, stupid. All right, fine. Okay. All right, we played around the Mirror Force. That's good. That's good. Main phase two, I will set myself a monster and I will pass it over. All right, I'll draw for turn. Those cards in your hand must be pretty good. They're nice. They're not bad. I think I just have to set one and pass here. This is kind of embarrassing, not gonna lie. All right, so we'll draw. So we're gonna start by flipping up Magician of Faith and uh, I got this nice, sweet, juicy, graceful charity, but uh, Nobleman also isn't terrible either, but I think graceful charity is probably better. So I'll take that. Sure. Let's fire it off. Mm -hmm. Ooh, those aren't bad. <sighs> now we're just in the dilemma again where we have so many good cards. Let's get rid of the Decoichi. Let's also get rid of this Spirit Reaper. Sure. Okay, so Mirror Force is gone. Torrential something I could still have to worry about. And then like there's Saku, there's Dust Tornado. There's just like some weird cards that could potentially be problematic. All right, let's find out. I'm gonna bring out the Drillroid. Whoa! He's back. Yeah, that sucks. I'll have to Torrential here. Okay, all right. Played around the Torrential. It was what, a what was Mystic Tomato. I really did not want to lose that card. Understandably, I'll set a card and pass it over. Go ahead. Uh, okay. I'm gonna Heavy Storm. Looks kind of sus, of course. Uh, do you have the game? Oh, God, I wish. Uh, I have the Spirit Reaper. That's something. Oh, crap. Yeah, okay. All right, let's see that pretty little hand of yours with so many good cards. Oh, uh, they're all good, too. They're all good. Get them. No! <laughs> no, let's see it, buddy. Woo! Oh! Oh! Uh just had the game oh i knew it i knew you were on some <laughs> nonsense oh my god oh that sucks that sucks so bad you really were about to uh, kill me holy shit <laughs> i was a hundred percent about to kill you if you did not hit stein of all things all right uh we're gonna banish a light and a dark Okay, Chaos Sork, number yeah. two. You, it can't be Mirror Force. It could be Torrential. You have drawn about a million cards. Good? All, all good? Ed, you're good. You're fine. All right, let's uh, be stupid and attack with the Chaos Orc. It is a Magician of Faith. How? Uh, <laughs> let's get back the Graceful Charity once more. It's okay. We're just going to get it right now. Uh, I got Scapegoat, so no, we're not. Yeah, okay. You can hit a goat, though. I'm hitting a goat. It. Don't you worry. All right, I'm going to set <laughs> one. You're good to go. All right, we'll draw... And uh, interesting you said it this turn and not last turn. Let's fire off the graceful. Yeah, go for it. All right, we're going three deeper again. And they're all interesting. Alex, I know they're all gas. You don't have to pretend like you're working with anything other than the best possible cards in every given scenario. I'll get rid of this confiscation that does no, 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 literally no, no, nothing keep that one. It's good. No, 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 no. <laughs> this card is banned, dude. You're I, throwing away. I might Go. have kept. I might have kept it had uh, had you actually kept that set card in your hand. Mm -hmm. I have a play, and it's just not very good. <laughs> But I think I, I think that's just the line. So I'll get rid of this knock. Sure. I don't really want to though. I'm gonna snatch steal your sork. Oh, uh, I'll book my sork. I just fucked up. Yep, that's fine. Uh, go ahead. All right. I just 100 percent punted this. We're we're getting there. <laughs> All right. Uh, behold the treeborn frog. We're gonna eat these little boys. All right, stein me to death, buddy. Uh, that was not. Good. Oh, why did I do that that way? I got too excited. Oh, well. We got to do what we got to do. I will special summon a cyber dragon. Yep. I will hit into your treeborn for a nice 2,000. Wow, that sucks. Okay. Main two, I will set a couple, pass a turn. All right. Stand by phase. I'm getting that idiot back. You're setting the cards uh, on oh, go ahead. the summon of, uh, yeah, it's fine. <laughs> this is, this is okay. okay. Yeah, it's fine. All right. Um, hmm. So you're setting the cards because you don't want to get killed by Spear Reaper. Uh, Obviously. Torrential. I mean, that would have just been a sweet torrential. You wouldn't have not taken that. I'd like to get you under 5k this turn. Is that okay with you? I mean, go for it. I'm trying. All right, we're going to fire off a creature swap. Oh, nasty, nasty, nasty. Yeah, 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 that's fine. You can have my treeborn. Of course. You want to banish your own treeborn? Thinking about it. Instead, I'm going to go to combat and attack with Spirit Reaper. Sure. So then I'll take 44 from these two. Yep. All right, go ahead, buddy. That is 
probably the worst draw on my deck, so I will concede. How and did I, I, lose? How did I win this know. game? You activated uh, Graceful Charity three times. <laughs> I had Heavy Storm and I had Snatch Steel, and I was supposed to storm first, but I'm like, oh, Snatch Steel Chaos Orc, it's so good. And then oh. I'm like, it's I'm not gonna get punished, but uh, yeah, I, I completely punted that one. <laughs>「Joseph, I'm going to get so roasted in the comments for that. I don't know if the grand scheme of things, if it would have mattered, because then you would have just, even if I had done anything about that and actually sequenced my cards correctly, you would have just creature swapped for like either the Chaos Sork back or the Sidra if I would have like sacked over it with Chaos Sorcerer. So I don't know if it would have mattered, to be honest. Maybe we still would have had a game, but I 100% I deserve to lose that for how poorly I played. <laughs> <laughs> like, in reality, it's a play that makes you do the super heads-up line where you uh, heavy storm one card under the assumption that it's exactly Book of Moon, which is limited. Uh, but with hindsight, I can say that you're bad, played poorly, I deserve to win, get owned, and I'm about to do it again, baby. All right. I wouldn't say the last part, but uh, yeah, I, the, the former is definitely correct. A T-set and pass for me. Go ahead, buddy. All right. We're going to special Sidra. Of course. Uh, I'm going to knock your set card. <sighs> Bye-bye, Dekoichi. Get them all out. Get them all out. Get, Get them all, all out. out. Yep. Ooh, I'm assuming yeah. you're not on any because you're on return of or uh, recruiters. Not. I'm, I'm, on, I'm on zero, baby. This all is right. like the first episode in a while you've been on zero Dekoichi. I love Dekoichi so much, but I, I, I struggle to think of a single card that has lost me more games than my own Dekoichi. <laughs> uh, breaker. Sure. Break it, buddy. This turn is just not going well for me. It was an MST. <laughs> nah, this is uh, this is going pretty hot for me. Uh, we're gonna get in for like four thousand here. Enjoy your yeah, cyber. Yeah, I'm not a fan. I, it's thirty-seven because the breaker counter's gone. But all right, uh, you know. I'm gonna pass turn and uh, good luck to you, friend. All right, can I get something like half decent? That's okay, I guess. All right, I'm gonna normal summon my own breaker. That's that's something. I'll hit into your breaker for 300. Ow, sure. And then main two, I'll set a card and pass. Uh Oh, shit. Is that lethal? Please don't tell me it is. Well, maybe we can find lethal. Let's start with Graceful Charity. Yeah, go ahead. Ooh. Ah, that is a thinker. Ooh, oh, please. You thinker have game. Stinker. I don't think I do. Hmm. Uh, I, I have to think about this one draws really didn't work out for me actually happy to hear that you still get to draw a ton which i'm not happy about yeah, yeah i don't think i can i can do that that go this format's interesting with graceful because i feel like each individual card is just so strong and it's really hard to give up stuff mm -hmm. three sixteen god i i think i'm just off no matter how you slice it oh mm, no that's off too ah, damn it if i do that i don't commit to my normal it doesn't resolve the issue anyway, I don't think. What if I go... Oh, that might do it. Did you find it? <laughs> I'm working on it. That's... That'll do it. Okay, let's try it out. Uh, okay, so after a 45-minute uh, think, and thank you for that, Alex, I'm gonna send Shining Angel and Sangan to the graveyard. Yeah, okay. People don't uh, realize because I'm going to cut it out. We probably spent at least like three minutes a piece on our Graceful Charity discards. They are just that hard. <laughs> yeah, I mean, like, Graceful Charity is really good when you're discarding Dark Worlds or Sinister Serpent. When you have only good cards in your deck, it's a lot less good. All right, we're going to premature right. burial here. I'm going to target my sand game. Okay. Uh, Heavy Storm. That's pretty good. And now I must think. Two cards in hand. Okay. I think I see where this is going, and I think even if I do something about it, I am probably still dead. My hunch here is that you have a copy of Stein in your deck, and you're heavy storming to pop the Sangan because you haven't committed to your normal, and then we are quite screwed. Uh, is there any way I don't die? Maybe. All right, I feel like this is my best chance, so we got to go for it. I am going to Econ, Sack, Breaker, take Sidra. Um... Yeah, so that does prevent your imminent death. Uh, we'll change control of the Sidra here, and Premature Burial goes to the graveyard. That'll trigger Sangan. Correct. Uh, I will go ahead and grab... You've got three cards in hand. God, I want to get Spirit Reaper so badly. Oh, I want to get Spirit Reaper so badly. Is that the play? In all fairness, it did win you the first game. <laughs> it, is, it is quite good. Yeah, we're going to get... Uh, we're going to get a... Ah, uh, but then again, a low... What? Oh, a recruiter would be really hot. What's the 
difference between getting a Spirit Reaper and a Mystic Tomato. The Mystic Tomato attacks. That's the only difference. And he doesn't even attack this turn because <laughs> you have the Cyber Dragon. Correct. I could get like Shining Angel to go into Warrior Lady. That would be kind of based as well. Uh, I am going to get Spirit Reaper here. I'm glad you just talked that up for a minute and it did not matter. All right. And then we're going to set two and pass. Uh, sorry, uh, sorry, uh, this was not a fun turn. I made you wait for nothing. <laughs> Go ahead. Yeah, you did. Uh, okay. Well, what else could be in your hand? Hmm. If I do this, it gets really dicey. All right, let's do what I should have done and heavy storm. Okay, so actually this time it's very bad for you. Uh, I'm going to call the haunted my sand. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah, you just can't win, buddy. Just, maximum just punished, win. maximum punished, sure. All right, I'm gonna go get a tomato. Mm, do I want even tomato? No, I'm going to get an angel. Sure. Now, it isn't the worst because I do have a confiscation here. <sighs> wow, I was really hoping you didn't have exactly that. Yeah. Uh, so here's what I'm working with. Sork angel. Uh, so the line that would have killed you was heavy storm. Uh, use my sand gant to get DD warrior lady. Lady into your uh, breaker and then sork Sidra is lethal. I see, because that would have been 40, uh, 44. Yep. Uh, which is just barely over what I was prior to confiscation. So now I need to think here. You are still going to have a draw, which sucks, because I won't know what that is. And that honestly could determine whether or not this matters. I think I'm dead if I don't take the Chaos Sork. So I th think that is what I'm going to do. Seems right. Uh, then... I will normal summon Drillroid and uh, run over the Spirit Reaper. Yeah, okay. Uh, that's one way to get this card out of the game. Yeah, I'm not dead, but I'm not liking my odds here. <laughs> uh, in fact, you are dead. I ripped Snatch Deal off the top. Oh my, okay, Ooh. you know what? You know, we wanted a sacktacular <laughs> game, and, you know, to be oh. fair, the sackiness was in your favor this game. Uh, also, my uh, horrible playing in the first game did not contribute to that. My last card was a Magician of Fate. That was, if I set that, I was dead immediately, yeah. to be fair. <laughs> that yeah. would have been a really good card if you had better spells in the grave. Right, because... It, I mean, all I had was this, and, like, I was going to get back, like, maybe Econ just to protect me at that point. What was my next draw going to be? Eh, that oh, that's a, that's been a nice one. I didn't have a light, though, so it wasn't even really that good, necessarily. Mm. Wow. Uh, we wanted a fast one, and this was a fast one. <laughs> that was a fast one. I let, Let's be real. Uh, Alex has had to edit, like, maybe two and a half hours of footage every week for the past month. It's nice to have, like, a chill 30-minute best of three uh, every so often. I am not, I'm not going to lie. That is nice to know that when I do edit this it's going to probably take me half the time it normally takes for us to edit these yeah uh so recruiter chaos was your spin obviously was that your uh, first pick or it did was, you uh, uh, it was my it? third spin uh Ooh, I pulled okay a bunch of nonsense uh, and chaos control and i thought you know chaos control is so boring i just don't want to play it anymore this one was a really interesting take this is eric bloom's top four list from uh, sjc hamilton and the idea behind this deck is you're gonna go under all of the anti-return decks and the royal decrees because you're only really playing three trap cards in the list anyway. Uh, the thing that prevents you from losing the game uh, because you run out of life points, which is usually what the Sakuretsu armor is there for, is the recruiters. And you're able to cycle through like Shining Angels, uh, through... Uh, Mystic Tomatoes. There's a really cute play where you go Mystic Tomato into Sandgan into Karibo, so you're not dead to Cyberstein uh, that I didn't get to show off, but I was playing it out of the board. What you about were you? playing the Karibo. That's fantastic. Yeah, there we go. Oh my god. Oh, not even the original artwork. Get out of here. Listen, this art was better. Fine. I, I will agree. It is better, but you know, it's classic. Yeah, I got the Machine Nonsense deck. Yep. I had to give this a spin. Cyberstein's getting banned after this, and again, we have all these different Saki decks running around this one was interesting. This one wasn't playing Royal Decree right out of the gate. I actually sideboarded into it because I wasn't sure if you were on return in this deck because it's a chaos deck and it's very easy for you to load up the grave. So I actually sideboarded into Decree for this other game here. I didn't see any traps aside from, actually, no, I didn't see any traps this game. So it actually didn't matter in the slightest. But uh, yeah, I mean, you just play like your Torrential and Mirror Force aside from that. I think this deck was only playing five traps even before. And I think you just sub out like Call the Haunted Dust Tornado and and uh, something else for like three decree. And then you just, you know, you're just playing the same deck essentially. Yeah. But uh, it's very funny. You have the
have the Decoichis. Uh, Druroid is a machine, so I was playing it. I still hate this card, but... Oh, you can uh, limiter removal this card. Oh, my yeah. God. It, you know what's funny? This list actually wasn't even playing the limiter removal, and oh, that no. was kind of odd to me. It feels like it should have been, but I can understand why. I opted not to play the Cyber Phoenix build. Cyber Phoenix is weird because it's a very strong card, but the biggest issue is it doesn't have chaos synergy, and uh -huh. this deck in particular was not only playing the Stein nonsense, uh, Return from the Different Dimension was the fifth card. There we go. So it has like multiple alternate win conditions. So it can either like go into Stein and just like win the game like that. It can return because you're playing like the Chaos Sorks and win that way. I thought that was really fun. It just seemed like a very explosive sort of deck, but uh, it just, it, it did not pan out for me. Uh, maybe it would have if I actually played properly. <laughs> uh, no, I, I think that the, uh, it's so weird because so little has changed in terms of the actual cards that are available to us at this period in time. Like there's all these new cards, but by and large, they are complete busts. Uh, it's so weird seeing the evolution of this format just because people figured out what the best deck was and planned accordingly, right? Like we had we Reaper format where everyone was on Sakuretsu armor. Some people were playing widespread ruin uh, just because they really wanted to protect their life points and be able to trade with uh, uh, enemy Reapers. Then the format switches to Chaos Return. We've got this tier zero deck that can return from the different dimension all its targets. And then everyone starts playing main deck Royal Decree and the best decks are the ones playing three trap cards and still trying to do like Chaos Return Reaper stuff. It's just a weird evolution that had nothing to do with the cards that were legal or released. You know, you look at Enemy of Justice, you look mm -hmm. at Shadow, I mean, to be fair, at least Shadow of Infinity introduced Treeborn Frog. It introduced yes. a card, but I don't even think Enemy of Justice and Power of the Duelist introduced like any cards that did see play during this time. I think for Power of the Duelist, the closest card might be like Future Fusion or Overload Fusion. And even then, those cards don't get very strong until, or at least Future Fusion specifically I'm thinking of is, uh, you know, Chaos Dragons, right? Just cause yeah. it's just send five from the deck and it's broken. But now, it's just not really too viable. I mean, you could play this sort of like all all in machine turbo deck and just try to go into stuff like Chimera Tech over Dragon and just win the game through that way. But again, limiter removal is limited at this point too. So we're not doing the crazy triple limiter shenanigans like we did in uh, previous episodes. We and, did. Uh, it's fat. Yeah, you sorry, did. I did. <laughs> yeah, this is just karma coming around and just uh, kissing yeah, yeah. my ass at this point. <laughs> and even when we get to the next set, Cyber Dark Impact, it's Cyber Dark Impact is notoriously one of the worst sets of all time, but in all fairness, it does introduce Snipe Hunter, and Snipe Hunter, I think, is going to make for some very iconic and uh, clippable moments for us here in the history of Yu-Gi-Oh! <laughs> yeah, I have fond memories in my childhood of playing Cyberdarks because I, I figured out the masked dragon thing independently, and I went, whoa, that's so cool! And of course, it was terrible, but fond memories of using uh, Future Fusion on that card instead of, like, to win the game with an Overdragon or something. You right. gotta understand, for a long time, these game-breakingly powerful cards, you know, Treeborn Frog, uh future fusion they were commonplace and they were bad <laughs> a lot of gx is full of these cards that are extremely powerful now but when they were released they were terrible uh and it's so weird to see the enduring legacy of cyber dark impact be the dollar bin at nationals just this awful awful set full of garbage but realistically, if you look back at the cards that are released in it, you've got Snipe Hunter, you know? You've got uh, Blackhorn of Heaven. You've got every barrier yeah. statue. There are way more playables in Cyberdark Impact than any of the last three or four sets. Which is truly shocking considering, again, it's notoriously one of the worst sets of all time. And not only are we entering the Cyberdark Impact next, but we do have the September 2006 ban list, I believe, which we then bid farewell to our friend Chaos Source here we bid farewell to our friend cyberstein uh we bid farewell to a couple of other cards but i think they are uh not of too much consequence i think it's thousand eyes restrict sukiyomi and uh this card right here snatch steel which to be fair has been responsible for a lot of our wins throughout the history of Yu-Gi-Oh. so uh, I, I think you and i are gonna both feel pretty good that this card is going to be uh in a very uh quick departure out of the format <laughs> yeah this is the list that like ends chaos format you know like chaos format format usually refers to just sort of like the GOAT era stuff, but it endures for like an entire year. Uh, people still play Chaos Sorcerer and they play the adjacent cards because they're busted. Uh, after this, they're gone. They're just absolutely out of the format for a very long time. Magician of Faith to one, Spirit Reaper to one, uh, Future Fusion to one even, Knockdown, 
all these uh, really, really powerful cards that are the hallmarks of old Yu-Gi-Oh! Finally moving out of the way to make room for GX archetypes. And I'm excited to see what GX has to offer. And I think this is actually going to be a rather interesting format because I rather recall this format uh, to a significant degree because having Spirit Reaper at one means there's going to be less cards getting ripped out of the hand. Mm -hmm. Having uh, cards such as Chaos Sorcerer out of the format means that Chaos is effectively dead because now all three of the Chaos payoffs are now banned for the time being. Took. Every single right? one. Every, well, they could have also banned Return from the different dimension and that could have solved the problem. But nope, that mm -hmm. card's still legal. So still I legal. guess we can still play Bazoo Return if we really want to. And if we it, really want to. Hey, I might bring it back for the third time. We'll see. We'll see. But uh, like I said in the first uh, game we played, Zaborg actually becomes a front runner in this next format and lists start maxing out on Zaborg because that card excels at being able to deal with not only just cards that are difficult to deal with because they're large, but also anything that might be set that may have a flip effect or a recruiter. Like Zaborg almost answers just every single card in the format and its stat line is big enough that the opponent's going to have to find some way to answer it in one way or another. It's actually a menace and I don't think it's actually called like Zaborg format, but I think people are going to quickly see how good this card becomes in a in a few episodes from now. <laughs> Uh, I'm already maxed out on Zayborg. Uh, the card's crazy. Obviously, uh, this deck, your opponent just stops attacking your face down monsters because they're always recruiters. And if they're doing that, you can just go ahead and tribute some of the Zayborg. It's just great. I mean, it's a fantastic card. Yeah, I wasn't maxing out on it, but uh, I was. this list was only playing two, but I, I was still pretty happy with that because any number of copies of Zayborg in my eyes is good. And I don't think people would have thought back in the day that Zayborg would be this good of a card. I mean, it, mm. it's very simple and straightforward but it is incredibly effective given the circumstances. People remember Mobius, they remember Reza, they remember the new Monarchs, the 2016 variant. They don't recall Zayborg, and I don't know why, because this card is really strong. Yeah, well, to be fair, when we get to Ryza, that's going to completely uh, warp things a little oh, bit. Too. But we'll, I know you and I are fiending for Perfect Circle. That is going I, to be oh. a blast. And to be fair, we're only maybe a few episodes away from Perfect Circle. We just need Force of the Breaker for Ryza, uh, Light and Darkness Dragons, like a weird promo card, and then also Destiny cards, the specifically Malicious and Deidre, aren't coming out until Duelist Pack Aster Phoenix, which I believe is in 2007. So we're close. We just have a few more episodes to go before we actually get there, but I think you and I are going to spend at least a few episodes in that format because that is going to be epic. Perfect Circle, one of my favorite decks of all time. I can't wait to show it off to you all. So guys, that's going to wrap it up for this episode of the History of Yu-Gi-Oh! We did not get the three-peat, and it looks like MBT is going to be free from the Shirt of Shame for at least an episode. Congratulations, buddy. It's not going to be for very long, though. We do have to shout out our patrons, as always. So big shout out to Shadow1317, Sean Alling Jr., Tim00x3, Neo Cypher Slacker, and Gyoko, Pony Stark, Ika Iron Fang, Michael Dente, Ole, Mystic Walk, Shotagonist, Rasmus Ron, Dan the Man Hoban, Part 2, Synchro Guy, Cameron Smith, Sylvia Wilds, Dolly Watt, Dragon Lord Logan Thomas, Peter Gregory, Emil Cohen, Jarvis Martin, Draconic, Thomas Nelson, Inyuna Taisho, Jordan Coons, Kelvin, Pure Ace, Jesse Wood, True Nerdgasm, Iron Bladesman, Benjamin Fuller, Brother Paul, Chris Hood, Damage Step, Kalut, Lumpy, Shane Reese, David Liu, Rockley325, Nehru Celeste, Henry Roaming, Lane Rogers, and Peruvian's Finest for YGC 2021. Thank you all so much for watching the video, and we will see you in Cyberdark Impact.